in this session we are going to discuss user interface golden rules so the following rules are mentioned in the golden rules for gui design and described by snaderman and the pleasant in their book designing the user interface so what are the golden rules are there let me go one by one the first one is strive for consistency so consistent sequence of actions should be required in similar situations an identical terminology should be used in prompts menus and in the help screens so consistent commands should be used or should be employed throughout the development process so this is known as the strive for consistency that means the consistency in the gui design should be maintained and there's a similar for the similar situations the actions or the sequence of actions which are going to be performed that should be consistent in nature next one is the enable frequent users to use shortcuts so the users desire to reduce the number of interactions increases with the frequency of use so that's why abbreviations function keys hidden commands and macro facilities are very helpful for an user to initiate the shortcuts so sometimes you can find that going to a certain menu then sub menu then sub sub menu in this way you can initiate one command but if we have some shortcuts you can directly have that key press with the key combinations we can initiate the same so in the case we might be requiring some abbreviations or some function keys some hidden commands and some macro facilities offer informatic feedback so for every operator action there should be some system feedback and for frequent and minor actions the response must be modest while for infrequent and major actions the response must be most and more substantial so that is my offer informative feedback so depending upon the systems feedback the respective gui design or the user design user interface design should be performed so for the most frequent and minor actions the response must be modest but for the infrequent and major actions the response must be more substantial design dialogue to yield the closer so dialogue has to be designed in in a very efficient way so sequence of actions should be organized into groups with the beginning middle and end the informative feedback at the completion of a group of actions gives the operators the satisfaction of accomplishment a sense of relief the signal to drop contingency plans and options for their minds and this indicates that the way ahead is clear to prepare for the next group of actions so now in this case it is telling that whenever we are having some group of actions to be taken one after another and at the end obviously some design a dialogue to yield that you have done successfully completion you have done something wrong whatever the cases are there so the design dialogue to yield the closer so that the user can get the idea that whether the series of actions whatever they have done what is the ultimate status and accordingly if the status is positive if it is telling that yes the operation has been successfully completed then the user can go for the next series of actions offer simple error handling so in this case what will happen as much as possible design the system so the user will not make a serious error so whenever user will give some wrong input so accordingly the dialog box should be communicated so that user will not make such serious error in the system but errors may obviously can occur any time so if an error is made the system should be able to detect it and offer simple comprehensible mechanisms for handling the error next one is the permit easy reversal of actions so this feature relieves anxiety since the user knows that error can be undone and easy reversal of actions encourages exploration of unfamiliar options so what will happen let us suppose we have deleted one file accidentally but if i know that to retrieve the file the reversal of that deletion operation is there the options are there then obviously we can treat ourselves as more innovative and can go for some exploration of new options 
in the available in the respective interface. The units of reversibility may be a single action, a data entry or a complete group of actions. So, support internal locus of control. So, experienced operators strongly desire the sense that they are in charge of the system and that the system responds to their actions. So, design the system to make users the initiators of actions rather than the responders. So, user who will be using the software, they should be initiating of different actions, not like that the software will be initiating the actions and users will be only the responders. So, that is why those users who will be using our software, they should be the initiator of multiple different actions as when required. So, reduce short term memory load. The limitation of human information processing in short term memory requires the displays to be kept simple, multiple page displays to be consolidated and window motion frequency be reduced and sufficient training time be allotted for codes and mnemonics and the sequences of actions. So, obviously, the interface should be designed in such an intelligent way, wherever we are having multi page, uh, multi page information that should be consolidated. So, the user can easily memorize and can handle the situation even if having a very short memory. So, that is why information processing in short term memory requires the displays to be kept very simple, very much responsive and the consolidated information must be there and then window motion frequency must be reduced and sufficient training time be allotted for codes, mnemonics and sequence of actions to be carried out. So, these are the different golden rules for the user interface. So, we have discussed them in the details, I think we are getting this issue and thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com, simply easy learning.